Hey everyone, Tyler here at The Movie Beat. Welcome back to another video review for a Korean movie. Um, hope you guys have a coffee and you have a few minutes to sit down and, uh, you know, have a little chat about this movie, The Merciless, 2017 film directed by Byung Sung Hyun. Uh, before we get into it, remember, if you guys like this content, go ahead and let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel if you would like. Thanks. Okay, so... Director Byun Sung Hyun, he made the film My P.S. Partner, which was like a romantic comedy that I really liked. And so when I found out he was doing this like gangster action movie, I was like, okay, cool. They really like when I see a director like that sort of shift gears and do a different genre. And The Merciless was also um, a film that was invited to compete in competition at Cannes Film Festival. So, you know, some hype going into it. The trailer looked really stylized and awesome. So was ready for it. And it took me so long. As you guys might know, I collect uh, the CJ Entertainment uh, limited edition Digipack sets, Blu-rays. Um, and The Merciless was nicely released as number 51. So it was a must buy. Um, and it was a great way for me to finally check it out. So The Merciless is a movie. It opens with a really good scene that I don't want to talk about uh, because I just I don't want to spoil anything, but basically this film opens up with a character named Hyunsu played by Im Shi Won when he gets out of prison. Um, and it's like day one when he gets out of prison and he's greeted to like this hero's welcome of gangsters. And you can tell they're gangsters because they got the suits. They're standing in that sort of like militaristic formation. And he's greeted by uh, a character named J-Ho played by Sol Gyung Gu, who appears to be like the boss. Uh, picks him up in his red sports car. Now, the weird thing about this scene is that uh, Hyunsu is a very, like, young guy. He's, like, pretty boy-faced, and you're just like, okay, this is not your traditional um, seasoned boss-type veteran who's getting out of the slammer. So I'm like, okay, what is his role in this organization? So uh, this is a movie that plays a lot with time, and uh, quickly the film jumps back in time, when both Hyunsu and uh, Jeho are in the slammer where we found out they meet. Now, Jeho is also sort of like a top dog in jail, so it sort of makes sense that Hyunsu kind of wants to get on his good side, but he really does impress Jeho with like this overconfidence and he's like getting into fights and, you know, showing that he can take care of himself. And that's a really good quality to have if you're trying to impress like a gangster boss. You know, soon enough though, we do learn that Hyunsu is actually, this isn't a spoiler, this is like the main like story punch tagline. He is actually like an undercover cop and he's like a mole that they're planting there to try and infiltrate the gang uh, to get some like, epic, you know, years long bust. So it's one of those like the departed slash, you know, like infernal affairs type uh, cat and mouse loyalty tests and uh, moral ambiguity that you would sort of expect in one of these movies where you have a mole that's you know on the evil side for maybe too long let's start with some of the good things that i liked visually this movie is amazing uh the camera work is highly technical the cinematography it just blew me away like it's everything that you want to see in one of these like highly stylized um, action like noir type movies and I really also did like the editing how it sort of went back and forth in time you know not the newest convention but it really worked with the story in this movie and it made for some nice surprises the bad thing is you know other than those surprises like the overall feeling I have of this movie is like what is the point uh, it's not doing anything majorly new, um, and the things that it does has been done better by better films. So I'm conflicted on that point. Now, the whole movie to me sort of felt like it was trying really hard to be cool. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, it has that visual aesthetic, all the flashy camera work. Uh, it's it on the surface, it's there, but there's nothing below that like the characters are just sort of going through the motions um, everything felt really flat there's one scene in particular that I like I couldn't stop thinking about uh, when this movie ended and like after I saw it and I was just like oh, face palming 
And it's this scene where like the SWAT team's coming in to do this big bust and they're coming in hot with like a canine unit and the camera's like close up on the dog's faces and they're running down the stairs and you're getting close to the criminals about to make the bust. And right when they get up to like the guys that are throwing the drugs overboard, the dogs are just like prancing really happily, like walking next to the cops, like as they get right up next to the criminals. And it was just so kind of cringy, like every like those dogs should be bolting in uh, bite taking an arm and obviously they didn't have that kind of dog wrangling training or whatever on this movie but you know it was just one of those another one of those things that i felt like they're just doing it to like okay we got to have the dogs and i didn't like that like if you can't do the dog thing just have no dogs um so it's just like there was a lot of that um, like the dancers the extras and the club scenes just kind of feel like they're going through the motions and it was a little awkward like I don't know if you guys saw that movie real um, it's like that where it's just trying too hard like calm down take it easy have faith in your story um, another thing about this movie was and hear me out wait till I get to the end of this this movie I felt like I was watching a comic book adaptation or like a webtoon with like the style that was being presented the characterizations and not in a good way like i like comic book movies you know these were real like caricatures not characters and you could see this through a lot of like awkward like they had this maniacal laughing style that they kept doing uh soul gyung goo's character jeho he kept doing this weird laugh that i was like that is a cartoon character. There's this one scene near the beginning where Hyun Soo asks J-Ho, like, hey, what'd you get for me of my get out of jail gift? And then the film cuts to like this bird's eye view of the sports car speeding away and he's like, making out with this like blonde girl in the back of the car. And I thought when I watched that scene, like that would work probably like on the page of a comic book. While, but in the movie, it just was like, what? Like it was really weird. Um, Apparently, though, this movie was based on uh, a comic book character, so I didn't know that until after I watched it, which made me sort of think twice about that. Like, was that really so negative? You know, I thought, okay, this could be based on a graphic novel while I was watching it, and it just didn't gel for me. Um, and I'm curious about what your reaction to the movie was um, in that regard, because you know, did you guys know that this was based on a comic book character? And do you think they pulled it off? Um, there's also like this weird bromance relationship between the main character, uh, Hyun Soo and Jeho. And I thought that this could have been a very interesting element to explore, like story wise, but it really just is more confusing than anything because they don't make it clear that this is some something more like like a love story which i think the film would have been so much better if it really did pursue that but it does feel like they intended a subtext like that in the film but it because it's not clear it just comes off as very almost uncomfortable and awkward and you're like what are these guys doing um, so I really wish the film had a little bit more clarity in that sense because it really would have made a lot more sense uh, if they had gone that route, but they didn't. So I'm left feeling very conflicted about this movie. Uh, when it ended, I was in a good frame of mind. Like I really, you know, I had a good feeling, but throughout most of the movie, I had a bad feeling. Um, I thought most of the scenes, especially like a lot of the, in, the prison scenes, uh, just didn't work it was really you know some of the music didn't felt a little forced um, and like i said it was just trying too hard to be cool um, it took too many cues from other movies and didn't really have an identity of its own so uh, if you are thinking about picking up the blu-ray definitely go for it if you can find it still in stock uh, the cj entertainment limited edition digipack it's really awesome and there's a photo book inside um, I think it's just a single disc though. Um, yeah, it is a single disc, but it's got a photo book and it's it's a pretty cool digipack. So definitely go with that and the picture and everything is beautiful on it. So 
that's going to be it for this one. I'm just going to rate this movie right now a 5.5 out of 10. Um, it is a little bit above average, but it's leaning more towards the average side. So let me know what you guys thought about The Merciless in the comments below. would love to keep the discussion going. Um, until next time, I'm Tyler at The Movie Beat. Keep watching movies.